All right, so Robert Downey Jr. is playing Dr. Doom. This is pretty crazy. I was not expecting this at all. I was not even expecting to make a video today. It's early. So I figured in this video, I would give you guys my thoughts on Robert Downey Jr. coming back to play Dr. Doom. And I also wanted to mention something that I haven't seen a lot of people talking about. Really, I haven't seen a single person talking about, which maybe sheds a little bit of light on this decision. And I'll get to that a little later on in the video. Now, before I get into my thoughts on Robert Downey Jr. coming back to play Dr. Doom, I just want to go over a couple of other announcements that happened in Hall H yesterday at San Diego Comic-Con. The first notable announcement is that the Fantastic Four movie is going to be officially called Fantastic Four The First Steps, or as of the filming of this video, that's the title of it. We also found out that Giancarlo Esposito will be playing Sidewinder, King of the Serpent Society in Captain America Brave New World. The other thing that we got confirmation about is the fact that the Russo brothers are coming back to direct the Avengers movies and I'm actually pretty excited about that we also got the logos for the two Avengers movies coming out the first one which was Kang Dynasty is now called Avengers Doomsday and we also got the logo for Avengers Secret Wars which are subject to change which we have seen many times in the past now as for my thoughts on Robert Downey Jr. coming back as Dr. Doom now there has been a bit of a mixed reaction online I definitely understand both sides of the coin when I first heard this news I'm not gonna lie I think the initial feeling is excitement I think the MCU has been at a very low point. Robert Downey Jr. definitely is associated with the golden movies of the MCU. He's pretty much the guy that a lot of people have enjoyed the most watching in these movies. You know, it's just undeniable. But I do also understand the people that are just perplexed. You know, I think even I had a moment afterwards where I was like, what are they looking to do with him? Is he going to be Victor Von Doom? Is he going to be a variant of Tony Stark that becomes Dr. Doom? There's definitely a lot of possibilities. There's a lot of ways that they could do this right. And then there's also a lot of ways that this could go wrong. So I really can't say in this video that despite me maybe erring on more of the side of excitement and hopeful that they are going to get it right, I really do trust the Russo brothers. So that's where that comes in. They haven't done anything yet to make me not trust them. So I feel like they kind of deserve my faith i guess but i also can understand someone being like this is really not what i wanted to see i wanted to see a new actor play dr doom and make no mistake dr doom is a big villain i mean he is one of the most known villains in all of Marvel. So, you know, I, I definitely understand two sides of the coin. Now, the one thing I do find interesting is you see in a lot of videos, people wondering, was this an act of desperation? Was there a big plan? What I find interesting is there was an article back in November of 2023. Now, this was the Variety article. This article was literally everywhere. This wasn't just, you know, this isn't me pulling an article out of nowhere. If you watch content creators that talk about Marvel, then chances are they did a video on this. Even I did. Don't don't watch it. I was a newbie and it's terrible. It was leaked by somebody on the inside who mentioned that Kevin Feige held an emergency meeting and a lot of the topics came to fruition. The first thing they mentioned in that meeting was the fact that Kang might not be a sustainable villain and we need to pivot to Dr. Doom. At the time, Jonathan Major's case was going to trial, not to mention the fact that, you know, quantum mania was a bit underwhelming. I mean, the guy gets defeated by ants and, and this guy is supposed to be the next big bad to Thanos. So they were talking about pivoting from Kang Dynasty to a Doctor Doom centric movie. Well, what did they do? They pivoted to Doomsday. But another crucial part of that article, which also got a lot of content made about it, was that they wanted to bring back Robert Downey Jr. At the time, it was speculated that they wanted to bring him back as Iron Man, that they were going to, I guess, bring him back as a variant of Iron Man, which this still could be that. But what did they do? They brought back Robert Downey Jr. So it's kind of like this article broadcasted all the moves that we have been seeing play out. In the article, they talked about how these were moves born of death Desperation. They wanted to bring Robert Downey Jr. back because the MCU was in a downturn and people love Robert Downey Jr. So it kind of, I'm not saying that this is confirmation that this was a desperate move, but it was a move that I think they felt was going to breed new life into the MCU. And to be fair, something can be desperate, but it could also end up working out. You know, we don't know what the plan is that they have for Robert Downey Jr. And I'd like to think that if Robert Downey Jr. signed on, hopefully there is a plan that makes sense to some degree. Although it could have also been the fact that they put enough zeros on that check for him. It's just very interesting to me that nobody's bringing up the Variety article. This article was pretty much talking about all the moves that they were going to do based on that meeting. And so far all those moves are happening. So in my eyes, it's not really a question over if this was a desperate move or not. I am going to err on the side of 
let's see what they do. One thing about my channel that I, I don't like to do is I don't want to pile on something before I actually view it. It's one thing if I see a trailer and you know, it is what it is, I call it out. I just don't know about just saying that this is going to be trash. I, I, I don't know what they have in store. They have really good directors on board. I'm not saying that that means that this is 100% going to work out for them, but I'm definitely a believer of, let's see what they do. They, there's a lot of interesting things you can do. And, and you know, maybe some of you are sick of the multiverse stuff. Maybe you feel that it's a crutch when it comes to the writing. It definitely is a bit of an easy button to try and fix things, to throw in cameos or throw in characters that normally wouldn't be in the movies. And, and I guess some people can feel like that's cheap writing. I'm definitely not going to argue that. But for me, I'm kind of at the point where this isn't like they're making this right after phases one through three. Damage has been done. You know, there's blemishes on the MCU's record at this point. So I feel like I'd feel a little bit different if they had like a perfect spotless record and then they're doing this and it's like, oh man, you're messing around. You know, you might screw that record up. It's kind of like you guys have done some pretty, you know, not so great things. So I'm kind of just at the point where, yeah, let's see what they do. That's just my opinion. Definitely a big surprise. Lots of different viewpoints going around the internet. I understand all of it. it. It makes sense to me. I'm certainly not going to die on the hill of saying that it's 100% going to be great. Everyone just, you know, get on board with it. I, I get it. You have a right to feel that this is a weird move, that this could potentially hurt his legacy. I'm just choosing to take the route of let's see what they do first. You know, let's, let's kind of see what the plan is. Let's let them cook, so to speak. That's really my take on Robert Downey Jr. playing Dr. Doom. Anyways, let me know in the comments below, what do you think of Robert Downey Jr. playing Dr. Doom? And please try to be respectful to each other. You know, everyone has a right to their opinion and it's a very subjective thing. So, you know, try to, you know, have fun, have, have fun, constructive conversations. And I'm sure now that I said that it'll hundred percent go that way, right? Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and as always my name is Eric Rosas and I hope you all have a fantastic day.